All right, so in this first video, we're gonna show how to do live linking in BIM 360. So right now we have three models, architectural, MEP, and structural that have already been saved up to the cloud into BIM 360 in the new unified section of BIM 360. So Steve and I are gonna walk through the process. I'm set up as the architect and Steve is set up as the structural engineer. So anyways, you can see it's set up in the cloud. This isn't meant to show you how to set a model up in the cloud, just how to do live linking. And then in another video, we'll show how to do static linking and hybrid linking. And that, that'll be videos two and three, and probably a video four on when you add bridging into the equation. So if I go to the insert tab and select link Revit, because this is all set up, and the projects in BIM 360 already, it's bringing us to the correct project. So all I need to do is go to project files. And if I'm looking for a Steve's structural model, I'll select it here. If there is any sort of shared coordinates or anything, you can select that. This is just like linking a normal model. The thing to be aware of is the fact that this is actually pulling it from Autodesk Docs, the project and then the folder structure. And so it automatically brought us to this location because we're in a BIM 360 project. So I'll hit OK, and then we see the structural model show up. So if I go to 3D, and then in the project browser over here, if I expand Revit links and right click, select the item visible in view, I could isolate the element. We just wanted to have a, a look at it and see that it did indeed bring in this model properly. So that's it. This is just like linking a file. If you're working in a multidiscipline firm, Architect links the live structural model. Live meaning every time you open the architectural model, or explicitly go into manage links, select the link, and select reload. Those are the only two scenarios where the structural model is going to update. It's not going to update every time you sync with central. This doesn't trigger a, a reload of a link, FYI. And we'll, we'll kind of play that out here. We're gonna to switch to Steve's screen. He's gonna link in the architectural model. And then while he's doing that, I'll add a wall just outside the building somewhere, super obvious. He'll sync with central. We'll see that the wall doesn't show up. And then he'll go into manage links and explicitly tell it to update the link. So we'll switch to your screen. I'll stop sharing. All right. So we'll just insert. So now Steve's the structural engineer, which could be in the same office or could be in a totally different company in a different part of the country or the world. What did you use? Um, I just used the default option, internal origin to internal origin. Since I made all the models, they, they line up perfectly. There you go. And there you have it. So now I'm going to add a wall. You won't need to see this. I'm just adding a wall down the main entry sidewalk. Just something super obvious that will show up. And then I'm going to sync with central. So the wall that I just created is pushed from my local file to the cloud. And so now if Steve right now does a sync with central. Yeah, before you do that, we'll do a sync with central just to show that this in and of itself doesn't trigger updating any linked files. This is just saving your delta changes between you and the current central file. But now if you go to manage links and you know that some changes have happened and you want to see them, you could force it by doing this. And there's a nice big wall right there in the middle of the entryway. The other way to have this wall show up would have been if this model would have been closed. So if Steve were to have closed the structural model and open it again, obviously the links aren't saved in his structural model. So every time you open the structural model, it has to reread in the links. At that point, I would have read and discovered this new wall and shown it. So anytime you open a model or explicitly reload a link. So this is how you do live linking in Autodesk Revit. All right. So 
we basically just did live linking and one quick look at what things look like on the BIM 360 side. Steve has this open in the project. So this is the BIM 360 platform and the folder structure that we created for this project. So you want to expand those, Steve, and point out what's there and maybe notably what's not there. Well, you have your three models there, but you have nothing currently underneath shared or underneath consumed. So this workflow of live linking isn't dependent on any sort of publishing effort that can be either automated or manually done on a, on a BIM 360 project. 